The people that saw you now, when they see you at that time, because of your level of change of story, you won't be recognized. He said, I did, you did not choose me, I chose you and I appointed you so that you can go and bring forth lasting fruit. And how do we bring forth lasting fruit? By praying for soul. By doing what? Pray by praying for soul. Now, what do we pray for? When we pray for soul, Ephesians 1, 17 to 19. Quickly. Ephesians 1, 17 to 19. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't go to 16. Let them see that he was praying. Amen. Can you show me 16? I cease not to give thanks for you. Making mention of you in my. Making mention of you in my word. Okay, see the prayer points. Verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you what? And what? In the what? That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. That your knowledge and your relationship with Christ may be deepened. That's what Apostle was praying for the saints, the new convert he has. He said, the eyes of your understanding be what? That you may know what? What is the hope of being a Christian? And what? The riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. The riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. And what is what? The exceeding greatness of his power towards what? Who believe according to the working of his mighty apostle Paul prayed for the sins, prayed for his new convert. Praise the Lord! And these are the kind of prayers he prayed for them. Hallelujah! I was listening to Bishop, he said that you know, the person that led him to Christ was a white woman, she came on a missionary journey to their school and led him to Christ. And she was in that school, gave him book to read, things like that. And one day she told him, she said, David, I am praying for you. I am praying for you. He said, he, said he really could not quantify or really know what our prayers did for him. But you know why to my she says she's praying for you, she's praying for him. When a black woman tells you she's praying for you. <laughs> Abi Mokbaro, am I lying? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because we have been hearing and praying for you and praying for you. We have not. Uh, it is well with us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What do we pray for when we pray for the sin? We pray for strength. We pray for what? We pray for strength. That it will be strengthened. That they will be strengthened in the faith. Number two, we pray that the light of God's word will shatter every darkness of their lives. You check Hebrew 12, 22. My time is already running out. Hebrew 12, 22 to 24. Hebrew 10, 25. We pray that the will of God consigning them be established. We pray that they don't forsake fellowship. You remember when the Bible says we should not forsake the assembly of one another. That's one of the things Bishop mentioned. He said he just know that his hunger for the world is not, not be here. That his, his desire for fellowship is too high. He does not understand it, but that is how his life was. And he still is today. Praise the Lord. You pray that they will remain in the city of refuge. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and his word save. That they will remain in the Lord. That they will remain in church. Which is our city of refuge. You pray. You don't just call them and say, hey, make sure you come to church. You pray for them.
How many people know that one of the secret places on earth is the presence of God? And the church is the presence of God. He said, he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. One of the secret places on earth where the enemy cannot catch us is the presence of God. Because in his presence there is power, there is fire. Hallelujah. We pray for their needs to be met supernaturally. So that they can be established. Amen. Obadiah 6 verse 20, Luke 11, 25 to 26. We pray that their needs should be met supernaturally. We continually pray for them until they are established. You don't just win a soul and say, I'm inviting you to church. Okay, they gave their life to Christ. You now invited them to church. Oh, Titan, Godwin has finished his job. If you don't come to church again, anyway, I don't show you church. It's up to you whether you come or you don't come. Are they paying me for inviting somebody? <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's not like that. When somebody gives his life to Christ, he has just been born. He's a newborn baby in the realm of the spirit. He doesn't know Jack. doesn't even know his way around. You know how babies can behave, especially when they have started walking. Eh? They can just see fire now and just walk into it. That's how new converts behave. The next thing, if they give you somebody to follow up, you know, we were talking in the church office today, and we say, our follow up in this church, it needs, it needs laying down of hands of God on our follow up. So we were brainstorming on how can we do serious follow up and get all our souls established and all that. So we listed out all the names of church workers and how we're going to do training on follow up so that we can, you know now, and we say, Follow up will be brother to brother, sisters to sister, before you help us follow up. <laughs> so, you can imagine when they give you somebody to follow up, maybe a lady, and you're a Christian sister, they give you a young, fine girl, now like Joy, to follow up. <laughs> the next thing, Joy will just say, ah, I found somebody to marry. He say, eh, okay. Really? Okay, can I meet him? Who is he? You will shout if you shout. Why did you get back again? Now you are going to no, no. say, okay, can I meet you? Hey, now meet you. Say, oh, brother, how are you? Oh, fine, fine. You now listen to brother's story. Oh, how did you know that Joy is the Mrs. Rice? Say, ah, I just like her shape. I like, you know, you're in trouble. <laughs> I just like her figure, her lips, and <laughs> that's, that's his direction. So you have to pray your joy that has been given to you to follow up out of his hand. You separate them. He just stand. He say, Makatole, Epasita. If I'm not careful, this joy will enter trouble. You say, Daniel, today, turn to the south. Joy, turn to the east. Lepa, Kato, Sipa, Lade, everybody, take Tomorrow she just wake up. Daniel has died in her mind. She doesn't know where it happened. That's how to follow people up. Or else you sit down here now, now, now. Before you know it, convert is fornicating. Before you know it, say I can I don't think I can be a Christian again, no, because it's just too hard. Just know that a stranger has entered. You must intercede for souls. We must intercede for souls. We must follow up our souls. He said, if we gather lasting fruit, he said, when we ask God whatever in his name, he will what? Lasting fruit. Guys, you better learn how to gather lasting fruit. Learn it. How to gather. My time is up. Rise up on your feet. Have you been blessed? Have you learned something today? Lift up your hand and just give God thanks. Receive grace to gather lasting fruit. Receive grace to gather lasting fruit. Ye prakato legado. Eno bokosita la barabasa. Receive grace to gather lasting fruit. So you're going to hold a partner. Get a partner. We're going to pray in the spirit. Shut up, but the 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 but
Go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray in the spirit. We are receiving the grace to, 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 to bear a lasting fruit. We are receiving the grace. Let's 